The next question is explain with me diagram R to our ladder type DAC and derive the expression for your output voltage. Okay. So the diagram given in your textbook is called as your inverted R to our DAC or it is a current mode DAC. So you know that here B1, B2, Bn minus 1 etc. up till Bn are your uh, binary bits and B1 is taken as your MSB and Bn is your LSB and VR is your reference voltage. So here your inverting terminal is connected to switches. Either it will be your bits, binary bits can be connected to your ground or high, right? If it is 0, 0, 1, for example, if B1 is equal to 1, then it will be connected to VR. All others will be connected to ground. So that's why you have a switch connection here. S1, S2, Sn minus 1, etc. Uh, sorry, uh, till Sn. Okay. And your non-inverting terminal is grounded. So, uh, uh, since your uh, op-amp has your high input impedance, what happens? The current flowing towards your op-amp, there will be no current flowing inside your op-amp. The same current will be flowing through your feedback resistor. So, I0 will be equal to IF. Okay. So, these are some of the basic principle of your <coughs> inverted R to R DAC. So, your input is your current in this case. So now your uh, voltage at this node is equal to VR because here you have your VR. The next voltage at this node is equal to VR by 2. It goes on. Okay. Till the last node which will be equal to VR divided by 2 power N. So if there is a confusion how you are taking this, how you have got obtained this voltage, then let us consider a 3-bit circuit okay so this is your VR I am taking only the ladder network and before going on to the topic why do you call it as a R to R ladder type uh, network because it is by means of your string of R and 2R okay if R is equal to 1K your 2R will be equal to 2K so uh, the precision will be very very high because the current to the ladder and the reference source are independent of the digital input okay so you, you will be getting good very good precision. So let us consider the example here. So here you have VR. So the voltage across this node will be equal to VR. Now if I have to calculate the voltage across this node which is equal to VR by 2. If I have to calculate VR by 2 then this is the effect of all these network towards the right hand side. So starting from your rightmost side what will happen here you have 2R, 2R. So here you have 2R and 2R are parallel to each other. So 2R into 2R divided by 2R plus 2R which will, give, will, which will give you R. So now R and R is in series R plus R again 2R. So here you will be getting 2R and 2R again in parallel. So you know that now the equivalent resistance will be again will be equal to R. So you in short you can cut short it as like this right. Vr again you have 2R. R. Now the equivalent resistance along the right hand side you have got, got the equivalent resistance as R. Okay. Now if you apply voltage division rule the source voltage is equal to Vr. So what will be your uh, node at this point if I take. So if I take this voltage as Va. If I apply voltage division rule what will be your equation. Source voltage that is Vr into the resistance across which you have to find out the voltage. That is uh, R divided by total resistance R plus R. So you will be getting Vr into R divided by 2 R. R R get cancelled you will be getting Vr by 2. Similarly now your source voltage is going to be your Vr by 2. Now you are going to find out the next uh, node voltage. How will you find the next voltage now? The remaining. So 2 R is parallel to uh, 2 R. So your value equivalent resistance will be equal to R. When you apply the voltage division rule what you will be getting? Now the source voltage is equal to Vr divided by 2, right? So here you will be getting this as parallel. So you will be getting the equivalent resistance as R. Now if you apply voltage division rule, same uh, rule. Uh, source into your resistance across it divided by total number of resistance. So you will be getting Vr divided by 2 by 2 which is equal to Vr by 4. So for n number of cases you can just extend it. Okay. This is your general equation of finding out the node voltages. Now you know that the current flowing through each resistance is now can we calculate the total current is equal to I. So this will be your current I1, current I2, current IN minus 1 and IN. If you know the voltage can you find out what is the value for current? You, you know that V is equal to IR. So what will be your I? I is equal to V by R. So what will be your I1? I1 will be equal to VR divided by the resistance across it 2R. 
Similarly, I2 is equal to Vr by 2 divided by 2R, which is equal to Vr divided by 4R. Similarly, In minus 1 till In. So, In will be equal to Vr divided by 2 by N by 2R you will be getting. So, here you will be getting 2R. Okay. So, these are the different values. Now, you know that you, your aim is to find out your output voltage. What will be your output voltage? The current uh, I0 is equal to your IF, right? So, what will be your current? Output current is equal to potential difference divided by R, right? So, what will be your um, current I0 will be equal to if I take 0 minus the input voltage is here is 0 minus V0 divided by RF. So, you will be getting minus V0 divided by RF. So, I0. So, from this what will be your V0? V0 is equal to minus I0 into RF. You know that I0 is equal to IF. So, V0 will be equal to minus IF into RF. That is what you have got here. Okay into RF. So, you are taking now RF as common. You know that uh, you what will be your current IF. So, when you see here the current by applying Kirchhoff current law, your current is flowing away from the circuit and the current is flowing towards the circuit, right? So, I1, I2, IN minus 1, IN is flowing towards and I0 is flowing away. So, you know that I0 will be equal to I1 plus I2 plus etc. up till In. Okay. So, since current, current flowing towards is equal to current flowing away, you will be getting this equation. So, instead of I0, you know that it is IF. So, instead of IF, you are substituting the value as Y1 plus I2 plus etc. up till In. So, instead of I1, I2, I3 etc. up till In, you substitute the value Vr divided by 2R into now this is acting as a switch right so you have to multiply by your binary bits b1 plus vr by 4r i2 is equal to vr by 4r right 4r into b2 plus etc up till last one you will be getting vr by 2 power n into 2r into bn from all the uh, parameter you have vr and r as common so if you take vr by r into RF, what will be your equation B1 divided by 2? That 2 I am taking it as 2 power minus 1 plus B2 divided by 2 power minus 2 plus etc. up till Bn divided by 2 power minus n. So, in short, you can uh, define your output voltage when you equate RF is equal to R. If RF is equal to R, you can take the output voltage is equal to minus Vr into B1 into 2 raised to minus 1 plus B2 into 2 raised to minus 2 plus etc. up till Bn into 2 raised to minus n. So, ultimately what is this, what is it doing? It is taking input binary input and it is converting it into your binary input and it is converting it into your analog output. That is why it is called as your digital to analog converter. Okay.